Hey, we have finally made it to day 20, the last day of your terms. Uh, we start off with a man by the name of Johannes Gutenberg, and he essentially changed the world with his printing press. Um, what that allowed people to do is they used to, they would have to carve out blocks and they would use that to print things. And then they um, came up with, and, and they would have to, remember we talked about the monks and they would have to write everything individually. This allowed people to print things in mass quantity. It also allowed people to print things in their vernacular or everyday language. So the Bible started getting printed in um, English and German and Latin and Italian. So these people started reading the Bible and seeing that the Catholic Church um, were not telling them exactly what the Bible says. So that left to the Protestant Reformation and creating a lot of the different things that we have today. Uh, the next person in here is William Shakespeare. Um, what he did was, we all know he wrote tons and tons of words, tons and tons of plays, tons and tons of sonnet. He's, he's seen as one of probably the greatest writers in the history of our world. Uh, the next term is conquistador, and that is just a term for a Spanish conqueror that mainly conquered Mexico and Peru during the 1500s. Um, Adamio was a powerful feudal lord. It was much like the feudal lords in comparison to those in Europe. So instead of having knights fight for them, they had samurais. And the last term that we have is Hong Wu, who was the founding emperor of the Ming Dynasty. So those are your day 20 terms, and um, that finishes up all the terms you have to do. Next week, I'm going to have a fun time capsule project for you to do with your family. And I'll explain more of that when it's released on um, April 19th. So I hope that all of you had a good spring break. And this finishes up our day 16 through 20 terms.